Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick test NG intro equation asked by Apurva Apu on my Facebook page. At the rate test enabled equal to false, it means this test case is not enabled or I can say this test is disabled. Always run equal to true also that is added. It means this property saying that this test case has to be executed. Always run means has to be executed all the time, which is equal to true. You have to understand what you mean by always run equal to true and enabled equal to false. So I'll do one thing that I'm going to create, uh, let's see this test ng class that I have created and then I'm going to create one at the rate test annotation where I'm going to write some uh, test here. For example, let's see add to cart method that I have written on e-commerce application and then I'm not writing exactly selenium code or any automation code. I simply write, okay fine, this is my add to cart uh, test is there. So this is my add to cart test and I'll just exactly printing some statement here like this. Then I'm going to create one more uh, at the rate test annotation. Make sure that, okay, let's see the payment test that I'm going to use it. And then uh, let's see the payment test also I'm using it over here. Fine. And when you run this particular, uh, uh, these two test cases without any problem, you can run as uh, test ng and then which is very straightforward. Two test cases got executed on the console also. You can see two test cases got passed. Then the question here is that uh, what if if I'm making enabled equal to false always run equal to true. So for example, let's see this is my enabled is equal to false. It means this test is not enabled, right? This property is false now. And then I'm writing this always run is equal to true. So both are contradict, right? Because always run equal to true means always run and enable equal to false means disable the test. So in that case, what will happen? So in that case, if you run this particular test individually, run as a test ng and then test ng will not execute anything here you can see the report it's blank on the console also it's giving you one message here first of all that okay yeah zero test cases test ng did not find any test to run it's saying no test found nothing was run because this particular test is disabled so enabled equal to false if you run it this means this particular test is disabled doesn't matter you have written always run equal to true or false or whatever that really doesn't matter now if you execute uh, both the test cases together and then it will participate only one test over here you can see only one test that is the first test add to cart and in the console report also one report uh, one test got executed right now what do you mean by always run equal to true see according to documentation if set to true this method will always be run even if depends on method that failed so let's see this particular test is dependent on some other method if that test is still getting failed right there's a still test ng will execute this particular test so, uh, the attribute will be ignored if this test does not depend on any method or group so for example let's see this particular method this method is actually dependent on i'll write depends on a method which is equal to add to cart test right and then i'm making enabled equal to true this test is actually enabled equal to true and then i'm making this test deliberately i is equal to 9 divided by 0 it means this particular method will throw arithmetic exception though this test will be failed and then if you remove this guy from here always run equal to true for time being this test will not participate why because this test is actually dependent on add to cart test this add to cart test is giving you the exception and then this payment test will not participate in the execution so if you run it so one test will be executed that will be failed and one test will be skipped so that's why this is skipped and this is a failure test case you can see on the console as well that uh, add to cart got failed because of arithmetic exception and the payment test got skipped actually right but if i'm making okay fine that always run equal to true then what will happen if this particular always equal to run equal to true and the test is also enabled and it's depend method which is like uh, add to cart test method is still getting failed right then still it will execute this guy why because of this always run equal to true so let's run it and let's see so now I'm going to run it. The first test will be failed. And here you can see the second test got passed. Second test is not getting skipped. Right guys, why? Because of always run equal to true. First test, you can see that payment test got passed. Add to cart got failed here. Right? So that is what the reason behind that. The always run equal to true means the depend method where exactly this method is dependent upon. This method is dependent upon this particular method. This method is getting passed or fail or exception or whatever. This method will always be executed, but enabled equal to false. 
this method will never participate. It means if any method is disabled or enable equal to false, this method will never participate in the execution. Remember this concept. It's a nice interview equation with respect to uh, test ng if someone is asking you. So I hope that's clear for this question that she asked. Thank you so much, guys. That's all for this particular video. I hope you like it and let me know if you have any issues or if you have any other concept with respect to test ng for this particular feature, feel free to write in the comment section. If you have any other question with respect to test ng, selenium, cucumber or whatever, feel free to write in the comment section. I'll definitely try to pick that question for you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.